God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, November the 20th. Today's devotional is based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds be to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have a place of honor at banquets and best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and to have the people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And no one, your, and no, and call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to have to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant, and all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Tim Beach Verhey. The true measure of faithfulness is found not in the words one speaks or in the doctrines one accepts, but in the orientation of one's heart. Is one's whole heart and life oriented toward God, or is it aimed at something less than God? As Augustine's words intimate, orienting one's whole self towards God entails a radical form of egalitarianism. Though people are unequal by many measures, from intelligence to physical strength, from social standing to material wealth, they are all equal before God. And Beach Verhey leaves us with this to ponder for the weekend. Place your hand over your heart and feel it beating. What a wonderful gift. One that works so hard all the time, yet is rarely appreciated unless there's a problem. Let us pray. Thank you for my heart, which beats life into my veins. I offer the heart of my spirit to you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you have a wonderful and joyous weekend ahead of you. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you are in public, wear a mask so we can beat COVID. God bless.